here with UFC President Dana White after uh, a crazy night that had just a little bit of uh, a little bit of everything at UFC 226, and also one of the bravest men I know standing in between Brock Lesnar and Daniel Cormier. What was that like at the end of the night? Oh, it was, it's crazy, you know. First of all, Cormier wins, comes over and shoves me against the fence. Uh, and uh, th then I got Brock in there, and these two are, are going at it. And I had Engano, and, and uh, actually, the Engano and Derek Lewis weigh-in was more exciting than the fight, actually. And, and there was more contact. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it all ended well. It was a, it was a great weekend. Now, the, a lot of people are going to be out there saying that the UFC knew this was going to happen. You know, they knew Brock was going to get in there. They knew that DC was going to call him out. They're going to be shoving around. Did you guys know this was going to happen? No, we didn't know that. Um, Brock showed up tonight. Um, and Brock said, I want to fight the winner. And uh, he, saw, he said, sorry I went dark on you, but I had some shit I needed to take care of and uh, handle. Let me do that again. <laughs> Talking to ESPN. Uh, Brock, Brock said, sorry I went dark on you, but I had some, some things that I had to handle, and uh, I'm back. So, he, he, you know, he, he, want, he was hoping that uh, – he, he, I know he wanted to fight Cormier. But his gut was telling him that Stipe was going to win the fight. Mm. So he was ready to jump in there and square off with whoever won, um, you know, to, to, to come back and fight. So Brock Lesnar calls you and says, Dana, I want to come to the fights tonight, and I want to fight the winner of tonight. I mean, what is the first thing that goes through your head? Okay. <laughs> see you there. <laughs> I'll see you there. Let's talk about Daniel Cormier's performance. Stipe Miocic is a, a, an athletic, full-size heavyweight, and he finished him in the first round. He was the longest reigning heavyweight champion up until tonight. Yep. What, what is there to say about Daniel Cormier? Uh, Daniel Cormier finally gets the respect he deserves. Um, you know, to, think about it. He stepped down a, a, as a heavyweight so his friend Cain Velasquez could fight in the heavyweight division. Fights at light heavyweight, dominates there, uh, then comes back and, and wins the uh, heavyweight championship. He's one of the greatest of all time, and uh, I think he's finally going to get the respect he deserves. Yeah, and he's going to get a big fight, obviously, with Brock Lesnar, because that fight is happening, correct? What needs to happen in order before that fight can happen? I don't know. I, I, I got to figure that out next week. But uh, obviously, the, you know, the USADA stuff, Brock Lesnar has began the, uh, you know, the process with USADA. I don't know where they are exactly, but any minute or any day, he, he will be in the pool. It's going to need six months, and then uh, we'll go from there. But it, it is 100%, though. However long he needs to be in it, it, I do believe it is six months. Daniel Cormier will be fighting Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Now what Cormier does is Cormier, you know, needs to decide does he want to be a heavyweight or a light heavyweight. Or in this time that we're waiting for Brock Lesnar, does he want to move down and fight, uh, you know, for a light heavy, for, you know, light heavyweight fight, defend his title. What else stood out on the card to you tonight? Um, well... Costa, uh, I, I, this kid is unbelievable. He's going to be the next big star in Brazil. <clears throat> um, Anthony Pettis looked like the Anthony Pettis who, who, who dominated and, and, and held the world title. Um, let me think. Uh, the, the heavyweight fight was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you know, everybody expected these, these two big heavyweights that can knock you out to go in there and start dropping bombs they threw nothing it was i think it was the second least punches ever thrown in ufc history in a fight um yeah so that was uh, uh those were the standouts in my head right off the top of my head sure and, and i know you don't make fights and on obviously khalil roundtree wow Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Knockout of, first yeah. round knockout of Gokan Saki. Yeah. And, and I know you don't make fights on the night of the fight, but technically Israel Asadina fight, fought last night, and he looks like a, a budding star as well, middleweight prospect. Israel Adesanya, who was next for him since, you know, technically he didn't fight tonight? Those are all things that we have to work out this week, but yes, you are dead on. Kid looked like a star. He's unbelievable. That was his first, uh, you know, top 10 opponent. So it was the perfect fight for him. Five rounds with a real tough, durable guy in the top ten. Now we move him up uh, to somebody different and see that kid continue to grow. And I think he has what it takes. He reminds me of uh, a cross between Anderson Silva and John Jones. Appreciate it, Dana. Congrats on a good night. All right.